Let me show you how to take pine boards and turn them into this in a few easy steps. These are the tools you'll need. The first step is to take a table saw and cut 45 degree angles into your bottom board and then into your side boards. This will create a really nice snug fit. Then you lay your beam upside down and tape the back of it so that the seams stay together nicely and glue them and then brush it on actually. Then you're gonna wanna fold them up and use an air nailer to nail them in a few spots so that they dry nicely and then take off the tape. Now you're ready to distress. The planer is your best friend. You wanna get rid of the sharp angled edge so that it looks old. So take your planer to all of the edges and it just flattens them out and gives them so much more character. The next step of the planer then is to go on the flat sides and to take about one foot chunks out of the side. You'll see what I mean here. There's nice little divots out of the wood character it's making it look aged and then the last step of the planing is actually to turn your planer the opposite direction and take out really deeper divots that are shorter i do these about every eight to ten inches it just again adds more character and more definition in your wood second step is to take a wire brush you want to get as thick of a wire brush as you can and you want to go with the grain and what this does is it takes the smoothness and brings out the grain making it look aged look at how better that looks not like pine boards anymore after you've done the whole length of it you want to go against the grain and you want to go deeper and shorter to create some really good character spots these will take stain better and bring definition the last step is to take your sander and sand the whole beam so that it is nice and smooth and then we are going to get ready for our finishing touches i like to do a paint and water mixture first you'll see that here i use revere pewter paint by benjamin moore and water half and half and i just brush it on like a stain i will do one whole side of the beam at a time and then wipe it off as good as i can you really want it to act like a stain and not to not leave it on then once that's done, and what that does is take care of the orangeness to the pine and really elevates the look. Then I add special walnut, and I like to use a staining pad, Minwax Special Walnut. I will do one whole side of the beam, and I will stain the whole side, and then I'll wipe it off. And you can see the little bit of the whitewash underneath, and it just gives it such a beautiful finish. I wanted my beams a little bit darker yet with a little bit of warmth, so the final step I did was to add some dark walnut. This just really brought them to life. It was scary at first, but the finish color was perfect so we've got our beams done now it's time to hang them so we actually figured out the placement of all of our beams and we used one by sixes and Ryan nailed those or screwed those into studs and then he also took two by fours to put into that so we could not only attach it from the top but also from underneath he also came up with the genius idea of making this stick that is the exact height of the beam so that it not only holds it up but it pushes it nice and snug while he attaches it and that's it these six beams cost 20 foot beams cost us a little over 500 dollars what a statement